Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This is my third time trying to do this video. Um, first time my battery died, which was earlier today. And then a little while ago I tried to do this one, do it again, and um, I got interrupted. I was being beckoned. <laughs> so both times I was at the end of the video. And so anyway, this one I did the guts of it a while back and I let it sit for a while and then I decided to finish it yesterday. This is Laura Dennison's um, mini, I forget what she called it, um, it's a newer version, oh, not a newer version, nothing's new. <laughs> um, a different version of a paper bag mini or it's probably not even different. <laughs> um, to her, it's a different version of a paper bag mini. Let's put it that way. Um, I didn't use the Michaels bags. I used what I had, which is these craft bags that I got at Target in the dollar bin. Um, they're about six and a quarter inches long. I just cut the quarter inch off of it, you know, so I will get that jagged edge. So making it about six inches long and they're about three and a quarter inches wide. And so you get a pocket here and a pocket on either side and then a pocket in here. And this pocket is a little tight. I do have to say that. Um, the paper I used is um, Tim Holtz's travel stack and also the lost and found one um originally these pages inside here are from a book that i made originally that i was going to use for austin to my trip and i used to tim Holtz's binding rings and the, the covers of that book were from a flat rate um, pulse flat rate, small, medium, or small mailing box, and excuse me, the pages were too small with the what in the width for my liking, and I just so I just took them out and recut them to use in here, and some of them worked really nicely because the pages were small as well. <laughs> And, you know, in the book. And I did use, uh, for that book that I was going to use to make for my trip, I did use a box that was already something was sent to me. I didn't use a brand new box. So, no letters, please. I used, um, the Distress ink pad in Vintage Photo when I remembered to, um, do all the edges. And... The punch that I used on this side, I used an EK Success um, square punch. I only have two um, that I got at Walton at their tent sale. I either used the 7 eighth of an inch punch or the 3 fourths of an inch. I don't remember because I did this a while ago. Yep. I got those punches in June, so... Yeah, a couple months ago. Um, so that was that. And the covers. I used a cake box. A cake mix. And I covered it with one pieces of the 12 by 12 of the travel stack. And I originally the stack the deck binding back here. I used the vintage photo distress ink pad on there and I didn't really like it. It looked kind of stupid. So I covered it up with a, a little piece of scrap of the what I used for the cover and glued it on there. And then of course after I finished it all I noticed that the back you can see that is upside down. Figures but it is the back after all and so I'm leaving it <laughs> and I'll probably you know decorate the cover it is kind of warped for because I used alien um, glue 
and it is lightweight chipboard so that's probably par for the course so that's that mini I don't know if I'm making it again it was kind of hard to finagle the you know to do this pocket it was hard to finagle the paper bag to do that at least for me the next minis this one uh, this is a vertical file folder vertical mini from paper crafter 45 I was looking at her YouTube channel last night to figure something to do because she's got a lot of cool projects minis and stuff on her channel because I'm all finished with my art journal pages swap I mail them out Friday and people are slowly but surely getting their pages in that swap and look for a blog post on that on those pages probably sometime in November that way because that's when the swap is postmark due to send to everybody is March is not March is November 9th so that's when my blog post will be up so look for that and all the pictures for the what I did for my for the swap um, and then I also finished two of the upcoming challenges over at anything but a card challenge and I finished a project for a black hop that I was asked to participate in so I just got to do for that one I just have to I may retake pictures of it of what I did and I have to do the black post on that so look for that that's coming up I think with the either this week, well not this week, probably in the next couple weeks. I have she'll have to let me know. But anyway, back to this. This is a like I say, by a file folder vertical mini album. And originally it does come she did make a box for it, but it's a box and it's me. And I don't do boxes because I don't do measurements. Me and measuring do not go up to well together that's a no-no so I just stuck with the <laughs> mini album um, originally well in her instructions you take a file folder leaving it um, closed folded and you cut the folder into four and a quarter inches then you do that twice and then you leave the scrap use the scrap was left over from the folder to use for pockets and flips and all that you'll see that and when in a minute when I go through this album so I did that but when I did I did cut cut all the pieces and I went to t tape this pocket into on this front and I was like why is there a little gap between all you know the sides of here and I remeasured and then I cut it cut the two pieces into four and a half inches wide not four and a quarter so I took my heat gun and um, took this um, pocket off and then I think I took I think I took yeah I took this pocket off or that was another point no, I did that pocket, took that pocket off when I put that paper on. But anyway, so I took the, you know, took that off and re-trimmed a quarter inch off of the two um, pieces and re-taped this and re-taped the, the, the second page onto the first gusset and continued on so the paper that I used was my mind's eye lost and found Madison Avenue I wanted to use my mind's eye lost and found Union Square with the ones with the reds the browns blacks and all that but I used I wanted to because I wanted to use try to use the 6x6 pads and can't really use the 6x6 pads on here because it's about 
on this page is about seven and a half or so. Yeah. Or eight and a half, eight and a quarter. Because you can see it's, you know, I forget what you call it. <laughs> Staggered. That's what the word is. Um, so you couldn't, couldn't really use the 6x6 six six pads unless you got creative. And I did a couple of times with the 12x12. 12 12. You can see in a minute. So I couldn't use that. And I only had um, a 12x12 12 12 in, the, in the Union Square. But there were two of the two pages of the same pattern of the Union Square. And I had... I think two different pa pages, papers in um, Madison Avenue. So I used those. And this first piece is from another My Mind's Eye collection. And I can't think of it off the top of my head. But this one I cut off because I have these, um, whatchamacallit, around the page. So I trimmed all four sides so it's more square. And I cut it to the appropriate size for this page right here. And I used miracle tape to attach all the pages together, the papers to the file folder. And I used warm, warm lipstick for the edging and the file folder. And a couple of them, I did take like this one, like even this one, I took my water brush and the warm lipstick and painted the edges around and I did save the decorative edge on that for that from that piece of paper because in case I made a boo-boo I can cover that up or use it as decorative like this this page right here with the pocket and I did use some of the six by six I used three pa four pages of it Three, I used as pockets, I mean pockets, I used as tags for the pockets, and one I used to decorate a couple of the pockets that you'll see in the book. So this is one page, and then you flip it, and this is one of the 12 by 12s and then this page right here, I used um, one of the pages of the 6 by 6 and then I made a boo-boo, so cover that up with the Decorative, ed decorative edge, then two more pockets from the same um, page. This is both sides of the 6x6. Six six. And then another piece of the 12x12. 12 12. And then this is another 12x12. 12 12. And I covered up a little boo boo because I adhered it. This paper, you know, I missed it just a smidge <laughs> of the um, file folder. And I even made a boo-boo here when I was trimming it. Oh, well. Um, this is the other side of that polka dot paper right there. And two more pockets. Another 12 by 12. And this is the other side of that 12 by 12 of this page. I thought it worked like this side. This looked great on you know the other side of this page. And then this is a flap. And then this one I combined two pieces of the 12x12 12 12, like the scraps. Not like they are the scraps of what I used here. And then I used the decorative edge of that one piece of paper for that to you know, hide the seam. And then I used this one. I thought this was great too for um, that page. And that set. The only thing I think when I was all done matting the pages, I noticed like I think I was tr trying to trim a couple of these back pages off and because I used miracle tape to attach the um, the two because this is one um, part of the file folder with a smaller gusset and this is the one with the bigger gusset 
on the final folder and somehow it came off. I took it off to fix what needed to be fixing and then I had a hard time trying to attach it back together with Miracle Tape and Glossy Accents and it finally stayed. That was like trying to... So that was that and then I did the use the paintbrush again with the um, more lipstick to do that and that's it. I don't know, don't ask me what I'm going to do with these because I have no clue. This was very easy to do. So that's that and thanks for watching.